breaking news this morning. Investigators are on the scene right now. The house fire in North Houston. The fire was reported just a few hours ago on Mosher and Sweetwater Lane. Channel 2's Anusha Rost is on that scene for us this morning. Anusha, uh, do we know uh, about who might have been staying in the home? Oh, and we're told by neighbors that the house that was on fire, this one right here behind me, where you can see clearly all that fire damage, uh, was abandoned. They say there may have been several squatters living there, but right now, no reports of anyone hurt. Now, arson investigators and police officers are still working to find out the cause of this fire and where exactly on the property it started. That's why they are still on the scene. And we want to show you some video from earlier this morning. This is just before firefighters arrived to the home. You can see the massive flames there, the intense fire that completely swallowed this house on Mosher and Sweetwater Lane. Our firefighters worked quickly to get the blaze under control. Once they put most of it out, they continued to spray down several small hot spots with water, even spraying down a back and side fence that was burning. A neighbor who says the squatters have been living in the house for some time also says it's been an ongoing problem. Yeah, it's been an issue for about a few months now that we've had to call the city of Houston, um, file a report for the abandoned home, um, call the police, give a report to say, you know, they're blocking the roadway. It's been an ongoing matter, especially with the trash that they would leave outside. And back out here live, we're still seeing firefighters spraying the inside and outside frames of the house with water, with water uh, although we don't see any more flames or hot spots right now. The cause of this fire is still uh, under investigation. We will, of course, update you throughout the morning as soon as we get new information. Reporting live in North Houston, Anusha Rostick, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Anusha.